Microraptor, and Chiornis, and Archaeopteryx are so similar that there has been dispute among those who study them as to which ones are dinosaurs and which ones are birds. For example, some analyses have placed Anchiornis as a basal bird, while others have placed Archaeopteryx as a dinosaur related to birds. At present, the consensus opinion is that Microraptor and Anchiornis are dinosaurs related to birds, while Archaeopteryx is a bird related to dinosaurs. They are all classified together in the group Paraves. They all have long arms, but those of Archaeopteryx were a bit longer, and thus better represented wings. They all have veined contour feathers on their arms, legs, and tail, but the feathers of Microraptor and Archaeopteryx possessed asymmetrical feathers indicating selection for being aerodynamically adapted for flight. Uh, the wing feathers of Archaeopteryx were also longer and broader. They all have a small first toe, the hallux, although it is more retroverted in Archaeopteryx, approaching a perching foot, although there has been some disagreement as to whether it was truly as perching as those in modern birds. Archaeopteryx probably would have been able to fly, although not as well as modern birds. Microraptor certainly would have been able to glide and perhaps to fly weakly, and Chiornis also might have been able to attain some weak flight. What then makes a bird? What are the defining features which separate birds from their non-avian dinosaur relatives? There aren't many, and they aren't that significant. Experts are still arguing over them, and there are disagreements as to which animals should be classified as dinosaurs or birds. At present, it seems that an increase uh, in the length of the already long arms, the uh, adaptation of feathers being asymmetrical, broader, longer, and stronger, and also uh, the retroversion of the first toe, even more so than it had been in uh, part avian dinosaurs, that these were the defining features of the first bird.